a Palestinian teenager killed in Jerusalem was burned alive, first post-mortem examination findings quoted by the Palestinian Attorney General say. The direct cause of death was burns as a result of fire, Muhammad al was quoted as saying. Israeli authorities say the circumstances surrounding the death of Muhammad Abu Qadir, 16, are unclear. His death followed the abduction and murder of three young Israelis, with violent clashes spreading overnight. The post-mortem examination on Muhammad Abu Qadir was carried out by Israeli doctors, with Sabah al the director of the Palestinian Forensic Institute, in attendance. The Palestinian official news agency Wafa quoted the Attorney General as saying that Mr. Alul had reported fire dust in the respiratory canal, meaning the victim had inhaled this material while he was burnt alive. Muhammad Abu Qadir, who had also suffered a head injury, had burns to 90% of the body, it was reported. The findings have not been officially released. Muhammad Abu Qadir's family believe he was killed in revenge for the murders of the three Israeli teenagers. The bodies of Naftali Frenkel and Gilad Shah, both aged 16, and 19-year-old Yael Yifrak were found on 30 June. Their funerals were held on Wednesday. Thousands attended Muhammad Abu Qadir's funeral on Friday near the family's home in the Shufat district of East Jerusalem. Hundreds of Palestinian youths clashed with Israeli police in East Jerusalem before and after the funeral. The clashes continued overnight in the West Bank and spread to Israeli Arab towns in northern Israel.